From 10 News, Tampa Bay's news leader, this is The Morning Show. Well, say the name Columbia, and many instantly recall their last delicious meal at the famous restaurant. And this morning we find out a little history about the century-old establishment and find out why they call it that. Well, this place is more than just a restaurant. It's connection right back to the immigrants who first settled in Ybor City in Tampa. But how did the Columbia restaurant get its famous name? It's Wednesday, so 10 News reporter Grayson Com answers the question. Why do they call it that? Why do they call it the Columbia Restaurant? Come on in, they'll whip you up a Cuban classic, just like their great, great, great grandma used to make. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on back to 1905. Casimiro Hernandez Sr. had been in America just a couple years. He went into business. His target, the empty stomachs of immigrants. The small corner cafe um, serving Cuban coffee, Cuban sandwiches, the comfort foods that people knew from their homeland. He fit that need for those cigar rollers. Um, and that made them feel like they were at home in Ybor City. Andrea Gonsmart may know this place better than her home. She's the fifth generation of her family with a hand in this iconic Ybor City eatery. The original Columbia Cafe covered just a few hundred square feet. It still survives today almost perfectly intact as the restaurant's bar area. All the wood is original. And this space that we're walking through is the entire original restaurant. Things have changed. The restaurant now covers an entire city block. There's no wall here anymore. It goes on through 15 dining rooms with seats for 1,700. My great grandfather, you know, there was days that we made no money and he said he would, he was going to close the restaurant. But then great friends, great patrons kind of always pushed him through it and said, you can't close the Columbia restaurant. People, you know, we count on the Columbia restaurant being there. A lot of people get confused. They say, oh, Columbia, oh, you Colombian food. It's Columbia, C-O-L-U-M-B-I-A. Columbia is an old wooden ship, the first American ship to sail around the world. Legend has it the restaurant's founders wanted to honor their new country, and at the time, Columbia was a common nickname for the United States. It's also in the title of this song, a patriotic ditty popular back then, Columbia, Gem of the Ocean. Why did they call it that? Now you know. Grace and Calm, 10 News. Okay, that salad is delicious, by the way, if you've never had it. Uh, we asked for folks to share their memories and experiences at the Columbia on Facebook. Yeah, so Jody Rothman writes this. My parents met Jeff Fales, my husband, uh, husband's parents there for the first time as we celebrated our upcoming nuptials. Then, for our fifth anniversary, we took our parents there as well to celebrate their upcoming grandparenthood. Oh, nice. Love that. Yeah. I reckon we will all be there again this January to celebrate our 10th anniversary. Love that. I haven't been there yet. You haven't been, you have to I go. Have, have. It is a must go to place. I heard Beautiful. Big sandwich. I like the one on the pier too. It's beautiful. There's pier. one on the pier? Yeah, there is. I don't get out. Yeah, ought to.